There's a lot of interest in expanding STEM into the after-school setting and the problem that we're here to address is how to avoid replicating approaches or models or kinds of STEM teaching and learning that may be associated with inequitable outcomes. We have a vision of um, STEM in after school as being inclusive, expansive, and um, equity oriented. And tinkering seems to be a particularly powerful context for exploring um, what that could look like. So STEM rich tinkering, it's broadly appealing, it's conceptually rich, and it can be made culturally relevant. So in 2012, a group of organizations got together and we're working on the research question of what does STEM-rich, equity-oriented tinkering look like in the after-school setting and what kinds of professional learning is needed to support it. The California Tinkering After School Network is a partnership between the Exploratorium, the Discovery Science Center, the TechBridge organization in Oakland, and the Community Science Workshop. It's a group of people who are all working in after school spaces, in different kinds of spaces in California. So we're all really interested in issues of equity in after school programs and really increasing access to quality science learning through tinkering and making opportunities and projects. Uh, tinkering is one of those things that's really been around for forever, but it really boils down to kind of finding something that interests you, some passion you have, and doing it. With the Tinkering Network, what we want to do is really expose um, more people to the idea of tinkering as an educational tool. One of the themes is trying to understand what does really good tinkering teaching look like? What does a good after school program look like that really engages students in science learning through tinkering? And then another thing we're looking at is how do you now sustain these kinds of projects and programs that are doing well and spread them to others who are interested in doing similar work. So the partnership works with both researchers and practitioners and actually researchers become practitioners sometimes and practitioners engage in research so it's sort of a blurring of lines and it's this equal relationship where each one of us comes to the table and has assets we know girls we know programs the exploratorium is really great in terms of really knowing research this stage of the tv network i think is fantastic for the the, the embedding of researchers and really trying to replicate that relationship that shireen and meg have built so shireen and i have been working um, for the last three years on our um, collaboration with the Boys and Girls Club program. I feel like we've gone through a process together over the last couple years of developing routines and tools and noticing opportunities to develop hybrid routines and tools that have one foot in research and one foot in practice. Their partnership and their conclusions and their research methodologies and the way they look at information and the way they see what's important when they're doing research on learning blew me away. It was, I've never seen research on learning like that. One of the advantages of our network is that each of the programs in our network is quite different from the other and so we're really learning from one another and so hopefully from those conversations other people can also learn.